I was on the way to an event in Bringwalad, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to take one of Yolo's songs and filk it about him. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a funny idea. Mm -hmm. And then you said, yeah, that would. <laughs> Here. And um, by the time I got to bring Gulad, it was mostly done. <laughs> and so at the feast, I sang it for him. <laughs> And he did his level best to try to distract me. <laughs> he bugged his eyes. Yep. He waggled his ears. <laughs> um, he stuck his fingers into his nostrils. <laughs> and then into his mouth. And Ew. Yeah, he did his level best. And I carried on. Um... Bravely. I, I, I managed, because and he was right in my line of sight, my yeah. Okay, he was not off the, he was like right there. Um, and afterwards he said, Brendan, I would sue you for libel, but I know you can prove every word in that song. <laughs> uh -huh. I said, yeah, I, I know. So, this is Yolo's song. Down in Bringwala town lives a jolly old fellow whose figure is really a comical sight. Oh, his forehead is bald and his eyes will amaze you and his gold-covered codpiece is really quite bright. <laughs> It was actually an award. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, was it? That's another story. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> now it wears baggy pants and a ragged old tunic. His shoes give his tootsies a room with a view. And he acts very silly and he does antler dances and answers when summoned by the name Master Moo. <laughs> now his real name is Yolo, Don Yolo Fitz Owen. His white scarf and laurel are both well deserved, for he'll build you a crossbow like those in museums, or thrash you at swashbuckling without reserve. That's what we used to call it back in the day. He's a shaper of wood, and of bone and of leather, a shaper of hearts, with a word to the wise. He has carved standing stones to remember the fallen, and he'll sing you a song to bring tears to your eyes. Oh, the great Selkie's bride, and a cruel lass named Jenny, Corellia's lover, and Mervyn's gay flute, and the old standing stones, and a host of Welsh heroes spring once more to life when he picks up his lute. He's a craftsman composer, a fool and a fighter, a good friend to many. He'll come when you call, and he'll dance in the garden and sing in the moonlight like a nightingale piping in a green forest hall. 